This is Shepard Humphreys with the Jackson Hole Shooting Experience, and today we're going to talk about bubble levels on scopes for shooting long range. If you're shooting out beyond three or four hundred yards, you kind of sort of need to have one if you want to be accurate. As you'll notice right now, the bubble on the scope is a bit to the right side of it. So David is going to slightly cant this gun and the scope to the right, and you see there how it goes to the middle? That is what we want. We want it right in the center. Now, of course, that has to be lined up with the crosshairs of the scope. Uh, that, that's that's the, uh, the important step to begin with. So when you're putting the bubble level on, the bubble needs to be level with the scope. Once those two are leveled with each other, we don't care how they are put on the rifle. They could be tilted, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that the world is level with a scope and that the bubble level is level with a scope and the world. Those three things need to be level doesn't matter if that it's the scope is put on the gun, you know, kind of slid off one way or the other here. Not a huge deal. It's not going to make enough of a difference. Maybe if you're going out beyond a mile it would, but up to that point, not enough to really matter. And once you're actually sitting down to shoot, make sure that you have it in the center. If you cant it off to the side, either way, way off, there is no chance you're going to hit a target out at seven, eight, nine hundred yards. And the reason for that is the scope is adjusted to make up for as much as a 70, 80, 90 inch drop in the bullet. So now the bullet is gonna be dropping to the left the way that the gun is canted right now with the scope to the left and the barrel to the right. That is going to make the bullet drop straight down from the barrel. However, the scope is not aiming straight at the target and that will make it go either to the right or left way off the target. Next to wind and distance, this is probably the biggest deal for success in long range shooting. So make sure your bubble level is level and you'll have happy days. David, what else is important? It's important to make sure that you snug up on your traverse as well as your pivot adjustments here because that will give you much more resistance because it's common for people to shoulder up on the rifle and naturally tilt the rifle. But if you get your adjustments snugly in place once you like the, the level uh -huh. that will minimize the amount and dampen any kind of uh, adjustment that will make naturally when you touch off a round. Okay so then and there's also what's it called a, a pod something uh, that goes on right here pod lock. Pod lock. A little thing that sticks down there yeah anywhere from 15 bucks to 100 bucks and that really helps lock it in place because sometimes these Harris knobs are, are pretty tight and difficult. This is Shepard Humphreys with the Jackson Hole Shooting Experience Please subscribe below.